morning guys so today is my first day alone in my new apartment and yeah it's not done at all there's literally like i slept on the floor last night like i have my new mattress but it's like on the floor <laughs> but it was really really comfy and um yeah but there's still a lot of work to be done but i don't know i am just feeling like having a day today's my first day working out in a week um post show after my pro debut my coach gave me a full week off to rest and recover so today we are finally getting back to the gym and i'm actually really excited we're gonna hit these glutes because that's what we need to hit the most in my opinion glutes and hamstrings um but yeah, so first things first, I ate breakfast, had my smoothie bowl with a rice cake and wild butter for my pre-workout. And now I'm about to get dressed. Actually, I'm going to make my bed, then my bed on the floor, and then I'm going to get dressed, pack my gym bag, and we are going to head to the gym. Okay guys, so we are at the gym and I actually am done with my workout. <laughs> I did glutes and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my training and how I'm going to be training in my off season um, compared to how I've trained in the past. But yeah, so I'm gonna head home. I didn't film literally anything at the gym because I actually have a sign saying that we can't film, um, even though sometimes I'll sneak a little something something in, but um, yeah, but look at my freaking water bottle. This is another Simple Modern. I have the yellow one. I got this one actually from TJ Maxx. It's 64 ounces for 20 freaking dollars. It's literally the same as a Hydro Flask. Um, and so much cheaper. So, yeah, and I love how everything's like the same color. It's just very aesthetically pleasing. Um, oh my gosh. And this is my gym bag. This is the bag. Do you see that? The bag that I got from my pro debut. Um, the Wings of Strength. Chicago Pro and it literally says IFBB Pro League. So this is my new gym bag. I officially have a gym bag. Never had one. I literally would just bring all my stuff in like a Lululemon shopping bag. But now this is my gym bag. I'm actually, hi. I'm gonna put the little buckle on. See, cause I'm a nerd and <laughs> um, oh, hold on, it's a little too tight. Oh, that's as, she's as loose as, as it gets. Okay, well. Now I'm going to head home because I need to eat and then we're going to go grocery shopping because today's Monday. I normally shop on Sundays, but we were moving in yesterday and I just didn't have the energy. I literally ordered food in. So um, I'm going to do grocery shopping after I eat. Okay, guys. So I am in the car. I ate my post workout meal and now I'm actually going to head to the grocery store. I'm gonna go to Walmart and I'm also gonna go to Target. I wanted to take this time to kind of elaborate on what I was talking about earlier um, about like differences in like the training that I'm doing now. So I still get workouts and plans from my coach, um, but however, I do tweak them a little bit um, to work better with my body. So what I mean by that is I'm very injury prone. I get injured very, very easily. Um, and I tend to like overcompensate sometimes or a lot of times, um, especially when I lift super duper heavy and like I overcompensate, like for instance, like if it's leg day or something like that and I like really want to lift heavy, I will, but I won't get like glute activation or feel any mind muscle connection or feel any blood rushing to my glutes or anything like that because I'm not using my glutes. I'm overcompensating and using my back because I'm just trying to push the weight um, and that's really not the way to go um, because if you don't feel it in the body part that you need to feel it in it's not doing anything or as much as it could be doing so I've kind of changed up my training style to more of a um, mind muscle connection style meaning that I have gotten rid of ego lifting and gotten rid of always needing to lift super duper heavy um i have lowered weights and hired reps and slowed down when i'm doing the exercises so i can literally feel the contracting and 
I'm really focusing on time under tension. Um, so really going slowly down and like slowly contracting and slowly expanding. It's and I when I did it today, it made like all the difference. I felt it in my glutes, and I have a very hard time activating my glutes. So once I lowered the weight and hired the reps and really focused on it, I felt my glutes activated and I felt um, blood rushing into my glutes the entire workout. So um, not to mention I wasn't straining as much as I would be if I were to be lifting heavier weight. Um, so yeah, um, training for me um, leads to very bad injuries and like I said, I have a history of very bad injuries. Um, from overcompensating. So I've decided to change it up, see how it goes. So far, so good. This is obviously my first workout back. I'm letting the mind thing go and stop worrying about like, oh, this is less weight than I normally do. Um, just because as long as I am like hiring the reps and going into a failure and feeling it and like not like going easy, it really doesn't necessarily matter how heavy the weight is as long as I'm pushing it. That, that just goes to show that everybody has, everybody's body's different. Everybody's body reacts to different training styles. Like my coach, for instance, she's very big on, we do compound lifts. That's like all of my training is compound lifts and I still do all of those compound lifts. But she's very big on lower reps, higher weight. Um, and it works really, really well with her body. And I'm just somebody, and I noticed it within this last year of like really going heavy and like really focusing on it. I'm just somebody that my body does not work well or react well to lifting super heavy all the time. So I'm sitting on my bed that's on the floor. That's why I'm so low to the ground. But I actually got a package in the mail that I was expecting, just not as like soon as I got it. Um, so a brand actually reached out to me like maybe like a week ago. Um, it's called Compression Z and they are a like an apparel company. Oh, okay, let me just fix it. No, we'll just keep it down. Uh, they're like an apparel company, leggings, workout clothes, all that stuff. And they reached out to me, asked me if I want to try some of their products. So I thought, why not? Um, and show it to you guys uh, in the vlog. So they sent me two, oh, three things. Okay. So I got tank top, compression shorts. Oh, wait, tank top and two pairs of compression shorts, I'm pretty sure. I didn't pick any of this, they just sent it. Ooh. Okay, word. Word, okay. These are, these are actually cute. They're camo print compression shorts. And I, they asked me for my sizes too, so I know they fit. This is the tank top, just black tank top. Yeah, that's that cool. It's just a basic black tank top, which you literally can't ever have enough of. And these ones just black. Yeah, dope. I'm actually really excited. They like, okay, so like, Quality wise, they actually feel really nice. I can't see my fingers through, so I'm assuming they're spot proof, but obviously I will try them out. I'm very excited about camo. I love camo print. Wow. Okay, so I will, um, I'm gonna take some pictures in them and my new pieces. I'm also going to try them out, see how I like them. Wait, oh, and I like how, okay, so the tank top, it has, on the bottom, like the little sticky, it's not sticky, but when you put it on, it's like it kind of, I don't know, sticks to you and it stays in place. Helps it stays in place, helps the tank top like stay in place and doesn't like scrunch up or move or anything like that. This is their logo. We got the tank top in a size small and then I got the shorts in a size extra small. So I actually might wear a pair of these tomorrow. I don't know, but that just made my day. Cause honestly, after you guys last saw me, my day kind of started to like go downhill a little bit. There were some problems with my apartment, um, unexpected problems that are getting worked out now, but they do kind of put like a damper on a couple of things. So 
um yeah we'll de we're dealing with them though so yeah but excuse me i'm chilling i have to continue to do a little bit more work in my apartment i'm gonna go into my bathroom just sort through things in there because that's like the only place that i haven't like like set up it's a very chill day i went grocery shopping oh my gosh wait i'm so embarrassed but i'm gonna tell you guys what i bought so i've been on an ice cream kick i love ice cream specifically a dairy free ice cream kick so there's no because my coach if she's watching this she'd be like oh girl you know dairy messes with your body it's dairy free so i've been on a dairy free ice cream kick and i saw that ben and jerry's has dairy free ice cream and since i'm no longer in prep and my macros are getting higher i have more room for like regular dairy free ice cream and not like low calorie <laughs> dairy free ice cream if you know what i mean so i got some ben and jerry's dairy free i got three <laughs> because i'd never seen them before so i got really freaking excited so oh uh, so these i didn't buy today these were at my old apartment they've been in there since i moved there but you know so here are the three ice creams that i got they're all dairy free and they're all made with sun butter um i'm allergic to nuts and they have other ben and jerry's has other oh i still have tan on my hand okay um ben and jerry's has other dairy, non-dairy ice cream that's made with like almond milk but they also came out with some that is not made with nuts and this is it so i got the creme brulee that is the description i didn't even know this was a thing um and then this one's the colin kaepernick one that's the description up there and then this one i this is like my favorite ben and jerry's non-dairy or this is my favorite ben and jerry's dairy flavor so i wanted to try it out it's the milk and cookies it's so freaking good well the dairy version is so hopefully the non-dairy doesn't disappoint but yes i went a little crazy in the store but i'm gonna eat it all so obviously not in one day or one sitting but i'll at least i know i have dessert when i eat i have dessert every single day there's no shame in that but when i want ice cream at least i know i don't need to go out and find dairy free ice cream because i got i got i got a setup in here now okay guys i just cooked a meal this meal literally never gets old we got some yukon gold potatoes egg whites ground beef sugar-free ketchup simple basic but so freaking good and i'm so excited to eat this So, just got done working out. I did shoulders, if you can't tell by the vein in my shoulder. Um, and yeah, I didn't film any of my workout, but that was my first workout in my new apartment gym. So, it was nice to get a workout in there. Um, we have like dumbbells and cables and stuff, so I was able to get everything done. Plus, my shoulder workouts literally just need dumbbells. So, now I'm back in my apartment. I take the stairs because I don't live on a super high floor. I'm not gonna tell you guys what floor I live on now, but don't live super high. So I take the stairs every time I go up and down because why not burn calories, you know? Um, so yeah, but now it is post-workout time. I think today, <laughs> my hair is freaking crazy. I didn't even do anything to my hair. I, this is literally how I woke up, but I think today, oh, it's the next day, by the way. I think today we are going to finally, I think today we're finally going to wet my hair, wash it. It's been straight for quite some time now. So I think it is time to let it go. I'm going to make some post-workout cream of rice. I love me some cream of rice. No, no. Um, this is the brand I use. And I actually have some in a bag, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna make it on the stove because my microwave, I have to get a new microwave. Long story. Um, I've never made it on the stove though, so. So a cup of water, okay. 
But today, I really don't have much planned. I might, might go to Trader Joe's if I get the things that I do need to get done, done. But my parents are actually coming to my apartment today um, because I got some more furniture and I need their help, you know, setting everything up. So, um, yeah, but I'm gonna make this cream of rice and I'll talk to you guys when I do something interesting. I don't, I don't know. So since the last time I talked to you guys, I've gotten nothing that I'm supposed to get done. <laughs> but that's not my fault. It's because I had like the maintenance people coming in and out of my apartment and I like just couldn't do what I needed to do with them in here. But they got my blinds up. Oh, it's so bright. Got my blinds up, which is good. So now like when I'm sleeping at night, I can close it so it's dark. Um, my microwave is working. So, and you guys are probably wondering, like, you just moved in here, why is there so many problems? This is a new build, so um, there's always, like, new, there's always some type of issue, like my parents told me, with um, new construction and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so just kind of rolling with the punches. I got a delivery, and I thought I would unbox it. So, this is the meal prep service that I have been getting. This is my second box for them. Clean Kitchen. Um, the, it's not, this video is not sponsored by them. I'm not working with them yet. I want to work with them. Um, we'll get there eventually. I bought this with my own money. And basically what Clean Eats Kitchen is, is just like a meal prep service, just like any of the other meal prep services, like pre-prepped, like you don't cook anything, you just heat it up. Um, and for five meals, it's like $38, I think. So compared to, plus no shipping. So it's $39 flat. There's no shipping, no taxes, no nothing. That's all you pay, which I think is something that really sets it apart from other meal prep services. Um, is that you don't pay an arm and a leg to get your food shipped to you because that's like something that's turned me off and turned me away from other meal prep services is the freaking shipping. I got a box from them last week and actually really ended up liking the food. So got a, another box and I thought I would show you guys what I got. They actually came out with another menu. They come out with new menus every month. So for four weeks, I'm pretty sure there's the same meals, but there's like a good variety of meals. Um, like you have a bunch to choose from every single month, which is nice. Um, and then of course you can like, you can always like change it up, but if you find meals that you really like that you want to keep eating, you can just keep buying those ones. But since I'm so new to it, I want to try as many as I can so then I can find like the ones that I really enjoy. Let's make sure my food is good. Okay, yeah. So this one, this is how they look. This one is the steakhouse bowl. And that's what's in it. I'm actually very excited for that one. They also have macros on, on them, which is great if you track macros. This one is the meatball pita. I'm actually interested to look at this. Okay, I'm a big meatball girl, so I'm excited for this. And then we got, what is this? The mandarin orange chicken. Mm-hmm. This is the cheeseburger bowl. I think I'm having this tonight. I'm excited. And then last but not least, we have the farmhouse omelet. So I'll have this for like a lunch or breakfast sometime this week. Cute, okay. They also have like locations that you can pick up from, like pick up the food from. Um, in certain cities, like they actually have one like 20 minutes away from my apartment. They also have one like 20 minutes from my um, my house in my hometown. So I think one day maybe I'll try that out, but they have way, I'll be honest, way more options online. So if you're somebody that like likes variety, definitely go online. But now I'm going to actually do the things that I need to do. Hey 
Hey guys, so I am currently walking to the gym and I thought I would kind of talk to you guys a little bit. So today is Friday and today is check-in day. So I check in with my coach again every single Friday. And as of tomorrow, we will be two weeks post-show. So I'm just gonna basically say today we're two weeks post-show because this is like the day that I track my weight, track my measurements, and take take, uh, take photos and stuff like that. Um, so we are two weeks post-show, and we are exactly two pounds up from show weight. So literally, exactly two pounds up. So I'm actually very happy, very pleased with that. Um, and that's also with having, like I tracked all my macros and stuff like that, but that's also with having like estimated meals over this past weekend with moving, um, and eating out and just enjoying my life so I'm very pleased with that um, plus weight really is just like a such a small piece to the puzzle um, that it really doesn't matter that much but it's good to just have it just to see where they're sitting at you know what I mean but I'm more so looking at where like how I feel and how I look and I was very very pleased with how I looked this morning when I took my progress photos and I was also, um, I'm also okay with how I'm feeling. Um, my food is still, because we are reverse dieting, it's not super duper high. So I will say that I am still very hungry <laughs> and sometimes find myself struggling with the lights on. from eating um, because like obviously I had macros so I need to stick to those macros um, and I'm still hungry after I'm done eating because my, my metabolism is just my, I, know, I can't talk my metabolism is just like going 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 um, so I am, I have been struggling a little bit with having to stop eating even though I'm not completely satiated um, but I am just being patient because I do know as long as I stick to the plan diet that you know my food will go up and I won't continue to be as hungry. Hi guys so I'm fixing my hair but I wanted to vlog um and the last time I vlogged I think I was still sleeping on the floor something like that but we have some apartment updates so I figured since I've been vlogging why not update you guys on you know how my apartment is looking. Okay, so the last time you guys saw, or the last time I vlogged, I was sleeping on the floor. Well, now we have a bed. <laughs> so bed is set up. We still need to get a headboard, but look at how cute this is. My headboard's literally just gonna be like, like that, super duper small, but I just thought it would add a little bit something. Then I need to get some like decorative pillows, you know, but we have a bed and then still no real couch still waiting on that but the table i built this thing and it was not easy guys when i say it took me a solid three hours it took me three whole hours trying to build this thing um, mostly because i took breaks because i was starting to get frustrated and i started to cry and i don't work well when i'm frustrated and crying so you know but i built this it is from amazon and since I have it, y'all know it was a good price. So if I can find it, link it down below. Also these chairs, I'm pretty sure the same brand they didn't come together, it's not a set. The chairs came together, but the chairs and the table did not come together. My parents built these chairs, I did not. But since my table came when my parents were no longer here, I built the table myself because I wanted to start eating at the table like a grown up and not on my bed or my couch, you know? And then on top I just had this like, cute little like rustic little plant looking thing um from like tj maxx or something also my rug love i love rugs like this so i got one <laughs> that is something else that is new in here i did not have that the last time i vlogged but um the next thing that i should be getting so we're just getting well, we're just getting like a couple things at a time but next thing that i should be getting is an actual couch and like an area rug for that area you know then i want to get a big plant right here to be next to my bench i just thought i would show you guys a meal 
We got chicken, sweet potato, green beans. Keep it stupid simple, my friends, even in off season. I will admit that I do have like some of my fun foods here and there throughout the day, but I like to still stick to as many whole foods as I can because they fill me up, you know? So just because you're no longer in prep and you're in your improvement season does not mean you should eat junk food all the time, okay? You can have a little bit of junk food. Balance, you know? <laughs> okay, so I am walking downstairs. So I can go to my car because we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I've been wanting to go to Trader Joe's. I'm craving a Trader Joe's ride. Um, so that is what we're gonna do. And then I have to be back by like four, which should be fine um, because I'm going to the baseball game and I'm leaving for that at five. I'm honestly like a little butthurt about something, but you live and you learn. Hold, please. Where's my, okay, there's my car. So I'm kind of about hurt right now. Because, so I ordered my meal prep on, excuse me, Thursday. And I always forget that it's a little bit different with shipping to like an apartment building because not all apartment buildings are open on the weekend. Like mine is not. So, um, and our our shipping like our mailmen don't have a code yet to the building to bring in shipments that come on the weekend so whenever i get a shipment on the weekend i don't get it until like tuesday so that happened last time with my meal prep um and when i was ordering my meal prep again i it slipped my mind so <laughs> made the same mistake and they tried to deliver it today today saturday um and they couldn't because the building wasn't open, so they said that they would be sh uh, it would be delivered by Tuesday, which was the same time as last week. Um, but obviously, since it's food and dry ice only lasts so long, I wanted to try to get it earlier. So me being me, uh, tried to like get the package like rerouted to a FedEx because it's going through FedEx um, to a FedEx like pickup center. Um, so then I'd just be able to go pick it up not realizing that um fedex like on like the pickup centers like aren't open like on the weekend like on sundays and they close early on saturdays so um i'm pretty sure i'm still getting my package on tuesday yeah lesson learned i'm just like i'm not used to like living in an apartment building that's not open on the weekends because my old apartment building was open on the weekends so um I was able to get my packages and also um the mailman also had access to the building so either way I was gonna get my packages it's not the case yet because this is a new build so they're still trying to like work out the kinks and stuff I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's now I'm just gonna brighten up my day so yeah okay guys so I just got back in the car from Trader Joe's and they had one of the things that I was going in there to get and they didn't have the other things so I got something else to replace it. I told myself going into this trip that I would only get things that I've never tried because that's kind of just that's kind of why I go to Trader Joe's is just to try like the fun like not even fun just like different things that I've never had before um and I told myself I wouldn't get something that I have tried before. Um, and I limited myself to like five things. I think I only got four things though. So I'm doing pretty good. So these are new and I was intrigued. So literally just a breakfast sandwich without the bread. So it's two eggs, slice of cheese, turkey sausage. I don't know. It's probably super basic, but I was very intrigued by it. <laughs> and this might be like a, like a little treat that I eat on like the weekend. And I got they are gluten-free bagels because i'm a big bagel girl and i try to eat gluten-free um so or as gluten-free as i can i do eat gluten i do eat dairy but i try to limit both of them um and i originally went in there to get the gluten-free english muffins but they're out of stock at the warehouse the guy told me everybody's been wanting them and i've never tried their gluten-free bagels so i was like okay well it's not a complete loss so i got 
these and I think one day I'm gonna have one of these on one of these you know kind of defeats the whole purpose of having them like this but it's already made so I literally just slap it on there you know so I'm excited for that then this actually is something that is not like a Trader Joe's thing but I see them every single time I go into Trader Joe's and also at when I used to work I used to work at the gym and I don't work there anymore, by the way. It's a whole story. They sold these and I was on prep, so I wasn't trying, or I was getting, like when I started working there, it was like towards like the end of my prep and I was trying to eat as many whole foods as possible. So I didn't try one of these, but I've been wanting to. And I hear these are really, really good. They're the barbells, protein bars, and the cookies and cream flavor. So I'm very excited to try these because I've been dabbling in the protein bar industry in my um improvement season because they're like i love them they taste like candy bars to me and i often eat them as dessert so whenever i can find like a really good one i'm very happy and then these are something that you can get from other stores as well but i saw that they had them and i've been wanting to try them but have like it's been one of those things where it's like i go i'm like okay maybe i'll get them today and then i put them back so I finally decided to get them. They are the Partake Chocolate Chip Cookies. Um, they're like little ones, like this big, and like a serving is three of them. Um, and they, the reason they're like so special is because they're the top, they're top eight allergen free. So there's no, it's free from nuts, eggs, wheat, dairy, soy, fish, self, shellfish, mustard, sesame, sulfite. It's free from everything, basically. And like I told you guys, I tried to eat dairy free and I tried to eat gluten free or limit to them and this has neither of those in there so i'm very excited to try these and i'm a big chocolate chip girl like chocolate chip cookie girl hi guys so currently walking to go get my burrito because i'm serious about that my hair's down you know you guys never see me with my hair down and curling um but we're trying to let it breathe since it was straight for so long just so they can get back to their normal because you can see like right there like some of them are like very loose I think I feel sprinkles. That's so unfortunate. The one time that I try to like walk to go get some food, you know, it wants to rain. So we might have to <laughs> we might have to um, pull over and get an Uber. But we're gonna make it as far as we can, and then we'll see. Literally just wearing a lion leggings, black crop top, Air Force Ones, Valentino. Valentino purse and my mom's bringing me a jersey because I don't I don't normally go to these things <laughs> um so I don't have like stuff for it so she's bringing me just like a white jersey <laughs>